So Statrix, which is South Africa's leading provider of index tracking products covering a wide range of ETFs and unit trust, has listed a new ETF on the JSE called the Statrix Smart City Infrastructure Feeder ETF on the 26th of July 2022. And please note that I'm not a financial advisor and if you're seeking for any financial advice, please be sure to look for someone who is certified and registered with the FSCA. So let's get straight into the video. So what does this ETF do? So this ETF tracks the performance of companies that invest in infrastructure and technologies that transform cities into smart cities. So a smart city essentially is a city which is equipped with basic infrastructure to give this quality of life a clean and a sustainable environment. And guys, I highly recommend you to look into this ETF because the government has also announced that it's going to be introducing or rather it's going to be developing three new smart cities here in South Africa. The first one being in the Eastern Cape, the second one being in Gauteng or in the Northwest. So I highly recommend you to look into this ETF because all of the companies that are being tracked in this index or in this ETF are actually going to be doing well when the development of the three new smart cities here in Gauteng actually takes place. So please guys look into this ETF if you actually want to make money and if you just want to invest in this new sector of smart cities and developments in here in South Africa. So what are these ETFs aim or what are these ETFs goal? So the ETFs or the funds aim is to advance the following sustainable development goals such as clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption and production and even more. The listing of the Certix Smart City Infrastructure Feeder ETF brings about the number of listings of ETFs on the J e to 90 and with a total ETF market capitalization of more than 114 billion rands. This ETF tracks the stock global smart city infrastructure which is made up of a minimum of 80 companies like Top Build and Netcorp which offer innovative technology backed solutions for smart cities. And this ETF will give both the institutional and the retail investors an opportunity for them to diversify their portfolio to low cost while still meeting the environmental, the social and the governance objectives. So what is this ETF's portfolio exposure or rather in which sectors is this ETF actually investing in? So the ETF's underlying portfolio exposure is in sectors that include industrials which is sitting at 47.4%, information technology which is IT at 36.8%, communication services which is sitting at 6.3% and materials which which is sitting at 3.4 percent and that is how this etf is actually diversified in these sectors so the last question may be so Chao, where can i get this etf if i want to buy it so you can get this etf on the Cetrix website or on the app who are not the sponsors of this video by the way so Cetrix, if you're watching this please be sure to email me so that you can talk business and you can also get this uh etf on the easy equities app where it's currently trading at 52 rands and 16 cents in the making of this video so guys we've came to the end of the video and if you like this video please be sure to subscribe like comment and share this video to people you feel like will be valuable to them to people who feel like they want to invest in this Cetrix smart city infrastructure feeder etf so my name is Shaw Manakwana. i make this kind of personal finance videos we are talking about building finance investing in the stock market and all the other things and if you're interested in that please be sure to subscribe and please share this video to other people you feel like will actually help them so my name is Shaw Manakwana, and i will see you in the next video